Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be talking about a few gameplay tips in regards to the environment and compound that you should keep in mind during the PvP fights. Let's get started. Number 1. Avoid open areas. When going for clues, make sure you avoid open areas and stick to areas with enough cover to give you some room for repositioning if you're caught in the enemy gunfire. Moving in open is simply too risky. There are many compounds with vast open plains like around the Healing Waters Church or Stillwater Bend, which are perfect for snipers hiding somewhere. Number 2. Avoid going through the water. Even with gator legs, you are simply a sitting duck in open vast areas with water. The area from Pitching Crematorium to Blanchett Graves is a good example of that. Try to either go from around the water and reposition. Believe me, you don't want to get into a PvP fight when you are surrounded by water with not enough cover. And number 3. The Height Advantage In Hunt Showdown, people with high ground have the most advantage in terms of PvP fights as you are able to see plenty of area with no need for cover. That does not mean you repeatedly peek from the same position over and over again while standing still. The new map has plenty of verticality with hills, cliffs and mountains making it definitely one of the most rewarding maps for players who know how to position well. Pelican Island Prison is a great example of that. Number 4. Avoid fighting in dense forest. If you have been around Scupper Lake, Elaine and Sun's Fish, you can understand where I'm coming from. Fighting in a high dense forest area is simply too risky as you do not know where your opponent may be hiding. Relocate and take the fights to the compounds if preferable. Number 5. Avoid attacking underground boss lairs. Be it Blanchet Graves boss location or chapel or pitching crematorium, these underground boss lairs are very easy to defend for if you have plenty of traps and shotguns. Also visibility is quite limited underground and there are only few entrances which people already camp waiting for you to peek. In my humble suggestion, either completely avoid them or wait for enemy team to either make a mistake or they decide to take the fight outside. Please let me know down in the comments if I left something out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.